Uh, oh yeah, it's power washed. So, yeah, you don't even need to take this one. Good morning. It's Friday of our first week. We're taking the weekend off. And uh, after our meeting this morning and photograph, we asked everybody to hike in to Pavilion 3 that was repaired by us this week to haul all this debris out. Sometimes you need to use the YTV ant mentality where you throw people at the problem. And once we get rid of all this debris, we'll be able to open up this pavilion. Stick around for more updates on our progress here. Yeah, that took all of what? Three minutes. See him? Enjoying their coffee. They didn't think to buy us coffee, but they're enjoying their coffee. We are here at Home Depot. Char's organizing. And uh, why are we here at Home Depot? We're buying a boatload of lumber. We're redoing the amphitheater. We went out there to look at the amphitheater. They wanted us to pressure wash it. It looks like crap. It's falling apart. And it just needs some love. So we decided, hey, let's just throw some white TV money at it. And uh, so we picked up all the lumber. The cost is $851 out of our white TV account. And we're going to load up this trailer, go over there and replace all the decking and the chairs. Look at this ranger station behind us. We've got Chantel on the ladder. We've got Joe on the other side. This place looks amazing. It looks so much better than it did. The actual wall colors have changed. This looks so good. So crisp and clean and sharp. It looks brand new. We're also painting the restrooms at the playground and it looks like a brand new building as well. They are doing a phenomenal job. And this is the bathrooms and the ranger station in the first week. We've asked for more buildings. They give three bathrooms. We're on it. Yes, let's go. Look at this building. John and Candy Wrangler. Let's go find the trail crew. This is the Oxbow Trail, and you may not be able to tell, but our crews have come through and removed all of the deadfall that was dropped right here and pulled it way off into the bushes. And it looks totally different. Still a little bit more, but you see, see where all that stuff is? Get it away from the trail so the folks that are using it don't have to look at it when it's two feet away from you. So you can see they're just sending that stuff way back there so you can't see it. It just sucks when it's so close to the trail. So what do you think about trail work? Actually I love it because people come by us all the time and they're like, thank, thank you, you so, much. so much. And they're like, this is awesome what you're doing. And so it, it makes you want to continue. That's yeah, awesome. it's great. From what we've seen, it looks so good that the you guys are getting all that stuff off the trail. But yeah. I, I always love working the trails. And 
it's just you're out in nature, you're doing yeah. it and when you take your break, it's all silent and wonderful and you can hear the birds and it's it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a good way to work when you're not getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> So well, these guys are awesome. Now let's go, let's, should we go Thank back out so to the much. amphitheater? Yeah, not a problem. See ya. Bye. So a question often comes up, why this? Why state parks? You know, state parks are always short on three things. Time, money, and people. And they're the first to get their budgets cut when some disaster happens like Hurricane Ian. And they have so many people that use state parks. It's mostly free. And what better place to help than state parks? And we use the hell out of them, right? As RVers, we're always going to state parks. And we see that there are good RVers and there are bad RVers or bad campers or less than good ones who leave diapers and fire rings and dog poop all over their uh -huh. all over their site and and they they just overwhelm the parks with needed maintenance because of the damage that they inflict so so most campers are not like that most campers are awesome but we decided that we'd give them a hand and help them in that time money and staff shortage issue we didn't put it in our tour video, we forgot, but there's a playground here, a great day use area, and this is where we're actually parked. You can see all the campers. He's our resident contractor. Take a look at our video at uh, Sam Houston Jones State Park and you can see what he's doing. That's incredible. Great guys just doing down knocked over some branches and trees and it completely overwhelmed this fire break where it's supposed to be a good space defensible space between the woods and the houses so all of that is getting cleared out all the heavy duty stuff is being moved over to the fire side or the woodsy side and we're repairing a fence that most of the trees landed on and basically it needed to be rebuilt yeah they had a six person state park crew come in from i think myakas um, state park to the south of here and uh they went through and knocked down a bunch of trees and did a bunch of stuff but it was totally clobbered in fact it was it was done but it needed to be cleared and so our crew removed all of those fallen trees <coughs> cleared the fence line pushed everything um out uh, moved the, the debris away from the homes and then they took the they took all the the brush that had been set off into the into the woodsy area next to the fire break and then they pulled that all out next to the cul-de-sac with a um with a grappling uh grappling um attachment to a tractor the reason they did that is because if you stack all that wood and debris right there next to the fire break the fire's going to actually grow right there and it'll just jump that fire line so so we're going to go take a look and see what it looks like but I, they've been doing an amazing job yeah they've been working their tails off it's hot it's humid there's very little shade they've been crushing it eating lunch right there 15 minutes and then going so they're really pushing to get everything done here by three some folks are leaving this weekend and so they wanted to maximize that so they sucked it up and said keep working buttercup <laughs> oh, wow there's a fence that's back up oh, man look at that pile look at this pile All the way down there, it's completely clear. Oh All the way down there, it's completely clear. It's so much All the material that was thrown in here has largely been removed. 
I mean, this fence is incredible. It's a long way, man, you guys. My God. It's incredible. Pretty crazy. It's pretty impressive. And we're killing down the grass because that's not a good fire break. Reggie. He was a Reggie. He was a Reggie. Yes. This is incredible. And that's a wrap for this video. Wow, every team um, on this project has just been absolutely amazing. Everything looks so good. Everybody's putting heart and soul into it. And I, I could, not be, could not be happier. As always, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share it with your family and friends. See you later, everyone. Hey, wait for us! <laughs>